Good morning, everyone. Here we are with five minutes to go until the competition starts. Not going to miss out on this one. Let me put some background music. All right, there we go. Should be able to hear me. Should be able to hear the music. Cool. Hawaii's oh, hello. Get ready, GG. Hello. <laughs> Planet Bob, good morning. Rachel, hello. Good morning. And yeah, good luck, everyone. Hopefully everybody has a plan. And um, what production rate are you guys going for? I know people are wondering what I'm going to be making. Let's see, is this... um? What I noticed last time is that I have this not centered correctly. So let me see. I noticed this when I was recording the video. And I didn't fix it. And I wasn't about to remake the video. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Yeah, like like the window was too big and it wasn't showing everything on the screen. Hopefully it didn't cut out anything important. But yeah, we got about five minutes. I'm not going to load up the common ground mode because it's going to take too long. It's the wing it competition says AKC uh, for some people. Yeah, uh, I stayed up pretty late trying to come up with a design and balance it like I, I have one ready it's not perfectly balanced so if i can i'm gonna try to figure out how to balance it better but where it's at right now should be good and people will ask i am aiming for 270 minimum golden heart necklaces per hour minimum because if i balance this exactly how i want to i should be able to hit 290 but i haven't figured out how to do that yet we'll, we'll i'll probably end, won't figure it out on stream like i might do it later tonight but we'll see benji hello red go good day everyone good luck today yeah aiming for good rates <laughs> jmar leroy hello i am a planet Says Planet Bob. All right then. Yeah, Martin. Hello, Homeboy Gaming. Andrew Conley. Hello, Tapuka. Joan. All right, we got what two minutes? But as long as I don't feel like super sleepy during the competition, right now I feel fine. Just gotta keep drinking water. Rachel's winging it. Okay. Michael, 155 per hour. That sounds amazing. A anything over 100 sounds amazing to me. Because, well, when you have NFTs and jewelry, it, there's like a big gap in terms of production. Rahif, hello. Can't, say, uh, can't wait to see what you'll do with the gold rush. Me too, Rahif, because I didn't practice the gold rush. Um, whenever I got the cash for my build, I kind of just put down like five green forges and the pot of gold. And uh, I came back an hour later and I had a bunch of cash already. So I didn't like try to do it as effectively as I could. So we'll see what I do here. All right, half a minute. Salad, hello. I remembered. <laughs> You told me to call you salad. 93 per hour, I hope. Seems really good. Amir Z, what's up? Guya, hello. Can I do gold in this event? Yeah, you can make gold in any competition. But you should make gold in this competition because it sells for double. Benji, what practice cash rush need for this meta? Yeah, you probably should have practiced gold, Benji. I'm sure you did. All right, we'll see how this goes. I'm going to try to follow my road structure. Well, as I usually do, right? For the uh, gold rush. So put on Miranda skins. Start off with some roads. Carefully place down the roads. I 
And of course, I I'm going to do Gold Rush. I'm setting it up right here in this square. And then I'll continue to expand it later. I mean, there's cacti in this square, but they shouldn't be... Yeah, they shouldn't be expensive to remove. Warehouse up here, warehouse down here. Alright, the new iteration of Gold Rush, if you guys have not seen it yet. So we still got the green forges here, we got the warehouses to store the gold in, but we're gonna do this one without panners. Utilizing the new NFT that came out this week. That is the pot of gold. So the pot of gold gives up to three passive gold ore, so all of these will immediately start making gold. 18 second craft time with Miranda skins, but we'll continue to find ways to reduce it. Starting with the jewelry, arcane artifacts is what they're called. Jewelry NFTs. So I'll put down four epic rings. Each one reduces the craft time of the forges and increases the movement speed of the forge worker. So it's at 10 seconds now. Next is... I'll apply the corrupted packs. Applying 10 of these is a total of a 10% craft time reduction. And I'm also going to place down the tavern. That's a 20% movement speed bonus. It's like placing cards after cards. <laughs> My dragon so I can sell stuff. Because as you can see, I can pretty much already sell gold. And uh, just a reminder, you should probably turn update town offline on just in case you forget. I, I know this happened to some people. They, they thought they were on offline mode or fast forward, but they forgot to check it. Um, I mean, it can happen. You know, mistakes are made. So that immediately starts off the gold rush. Now I can scale it up more and I am going to do that. I just want to clear some of this stuff and place down more roads. JJ, what's up? So I am aiming for at least 270 per hour, but the ideal goal would be like 290 if I can figure out how to tweak this. Benji, I was sarcastic. No need to practice. <laughs> Just new NFT and green forges. There you go. Pretty much what I did, huh? Looks nice. Says Tabuka. Techno nerd. Hello. I have two more green forges that I could place down. Although I'm not even sure if my dragon can handle selling all that gold. Uh, but yeah, I'll try. Let me see. Dope Rich TV, thank you so much for subscribing. Appreciate it. two more right here and I got another pot of gold over here somebody's probably gonna ask how many pots of gold I got <laughs> actually it, it says on here yeah, I got three of them, so I'm going to be using three of them in this competition. I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep all three, to be honest. It was just for this competition. I might actually end up selling one, unless you guys want me to give one away. I mean, my, my maybe it's possible. Maybe. Only one person would win it, though. Not saying I'm going to do that anytime soon, but it's possible. Almost 4k, yeah. I forget the exact number, because last I checked, it was almost 3,700. <laughs> Giveaway to Benji. Says Benji. 
Okay, so I have 10 of them making gold now, and they're crafting it at 9 seconds. And my dragon's gonna try to catch up, or keep up, I should say. We'll see how much that makes. I'm gonna refresh it just in case. I want to get the real accurate rate of that. I don't need that. I don't need any of this. So I'm gonna keep deleting stuff, and then I'll figure out how to keep adding stuff. But one of the things I know is going to be an issue is the lumber. I'm going to need so much lumber. That's going to take a while. So I should probably just start making that now. Bonjour. Uh you're late. Yeah, it's only it's only been like five or six minutes. I think you're good. Okay, I am borrowing one NFT. Take a guess. Before I place it down, take a guess. Something for silica. I'm actually good on silica with the uh, corrupted silica sand I have. Benji, solar, you're really close, and uh, that's that's probably a good guess just because of the way I do my my uh, visualizer. But not exactly, Benji. But you're really really close. Rare solar panel? No, I I I have a rare solar panel that's mine already. Who's gonna place it on here? Juniors and hatching. What I was gonna do. No, actually, I'll place them um, over here. First, uh, first time I'm gonna be placing some of this down. Tabuka, you are right. Actually, it's a Tesla coil. I'm borrowing a Tesla coil. You're pretty much right, and it's the first time I'm gonna be placing this down because I never used a Tesla coil. Nah, not a, I'm not a Master Coppersmith, Benji, but that, that's a good guess. I don't think I would need a Master Coppersmith for this layout. I don't really think copper jump rings were that big of an issue. Maybe um, for the top 10. I, I don't think I'm going to be getting top 10, by the way. That I would like to get top 25 with everything I have here. I mean, I would think it's possible. Okay, but yeah, I need to make lumber. So, I've never seen this before. <laughs> Some of you probably know the value of this. I'm not exactly sure. But, um... Let's see. Okay, so it gives four passive energy, but it doubles to eight because of the diamond charge station. And it comes with Nikolai Tesla, which is on a skateboard, delivering energy to my energy storage. First time I'm actually seeing this. Looks pretty cool. Didn't know she like rides a skateboard. I thought she actually just walked. That's it. That is interesting. Uh, so yeah, I shouldn't have any issue getting energy. And I'm gonna need a lot of lumber. So I'm gonna need trees. I I set up all the lumberjacks and everything. I don't even have trees placed down. Yeah, let me do that. I'm gonna need a lot of lumber. Yeah, but pretty much to book a guest right. So there you go. Congratulations. 
It's a hoverboard. Pretty dang fast. You're right. Yeah, it is, it is a hoverboard. That makes more sense, right? Not a, not a skateboard. I'm thinking too primitive. Why would she use a, a skateboard? That's not like her. Martin says that looks like the girl from the candy shop, but in neon outfit. It is a different girl for sure. It's uh, the one from the candy shop is called Lolly. I'm pretty sure that's what she's called. Okay, so there's a bunch of trees. My dragon's going to fall behind. I can see it. It's struggling. This one doesn't even have uh, all the passive gold because I don't have goldy placed down. Not yet anyways. There we go. Not like it matters. I'm not going to be able to sell it all unless... Unless... Hold on. Stop using my gasoline. Maybe I can build a freight pier. Oh, uh, maybe I can do gas production. Do I really need to, though? Just to sell gold? Yeah, I'm gonna try to get rid of the trade depot. So I can use a freight pier for the rest of my gasoline. Tupuka, did you bought two? Well, to be honest with you, I bought several. And, um... I sold some to the people who needed it. I always asked Super Dub Club first and then Dub Fam. And um, a lot of people were interested in it. <laughs> Let's just say that. But um, I myself kept three because that's the the ones that I want to use in this competition. Now I may, may end up selling my third one. And that would be at whatever price I want to sell it at. But we shall see. I'm not exactly sure just yet. We, we'll see. Because really, I don't think I would need a third in most situations other than jewelry metas. I mean, I know they'll help a lot for jewelry metas. Especially this one. But it doesn't really make sense for me to have three, I think. When really, I, I only need one to do this. And two, if I just wanted to add more. The elf, um, it's supposed to be a leprechaun, <laughs> right? I I'm right. I <laughs> yeah, it's, it's supposed to be a leprechaun, but yeah. I get it. Let me add more mills. Probably add more loggers too. Add them as soon as I can. So I gotta make the roads for that. Okay, I, I need to remember to get rid of that trade depot before it takes up all my gasoline. I can always make more. So what's your gold rate dub? That's a good question, homeboy. I I can't say I actually did a proper test of what my gold rate is other than what I'm doing here. It looks like I'm doing 2,800 gold per hour. This is, uh, it's a little higher than usual. Usually I do 2,000. Let me get rid of this. Turn auto sell back on. Well, this is much easier to set up, right? I don't need to worry about the gold panning sites, so yeah, 2800. And uh, another factor would be that uh, I did pick up a fourth epic earrings. Even though throughout the competition, I'm not going to use the fourth one. I'm actually going to be using the ring because I need more jewelry storage. I don't have enough jewelry storage without that ring. And I can't have more than four arcane artifacts placed down because if i place down a fifth one the effects will not apply that's how those nfts work marie Ree says how how what exactly is confusing you 
There, there's probably a lot confusing you here if you're not familiar with these NFTs and I can do my best to explain them if you need me to. Usually I, I get people... They, they ask me how... Where's my gasoline production? Because uh, I, I don't do gasoline most of the time. Almost always. Just because I'm using the Green Dragon Express. And this is, I would say, a pretty valuable one. Because, uh, well, compared to a lot of other stuff, it's not as cheap. That's why I would say it's pretty valuable. And utility-wise, also pretty damn valuable to have. Okay, I need a road here. I need to place down these. Doesn't really matter where. Just need to place them down and build stuff. I'll place them all down because I know I'm going to be building a lot of stuff. How is the gold production going so fast? All NFTs? E yes, pretty much yes. There's a lot of NFTs involved with that gold production. And my warehouses are pretty much well. I'm waiting for this to build. It's um the wood. Let me turn this off. Uh yeah. Marie, just to try to summarize real quick. These forges don't need wood. That makes them more efficient. This gives passive gold ore, so I don't need to pick up gold ore. And they don't need to pick it up either. Yeah. So that's more efficient. These reduce the craft time, so it's more efficient. The tavern makes them walk faster. Miranda skin reduces the craft time and makes them walk faster. Corrupted packs reduces the craft time further. That might be it, unless I'm missing something. I mean, I also got warehouses next to them. All right. Time to build loggers. So it's going to help me gather more wood. Yeah, I forgot to mention this to everyone, but the town halls, they actually do help me. Um, my uh, craft time for trees. Actually, I'm missing something. What am I missing? Should be lower. Should be lower than that. What am I missing? The great woodlands. Yeah, there we go. Great woodlands. I forgot to apply that. Yeah. Uh. My craft time for trees or wood used to be six seconds. Now that I have the town hall placed in addition to all my NFTs, it is five seconds. So it does work as I expected. Brings it down an additional second. So it actually helps me out. Even with all the NFTs I have. I would say this is going to be one of the best NFTs that I have now. Just because of the low price point. And because of the craft time reduction to trees. Now it doesn't beat the Great Woodlands effect cards. Because these don't take up a spot. But it comes close. I mean this one gives 21%. It comes close you know. Since it stacks it, it still works very well. Still good to have. Alright. Focused on... Building those, could probably put down the solar panel. Give them a little bit of energy. Okay, so I got that built. I'll make some of the well I know I want to make the loggers first before I really start building anything else out. Because yeah, I need to prioritize the wood production. Oh. 
Well, let's see. They almost done. Yeah, they're almost done. I, I actually need more uh, lumber now. I could have probably built this closer. Yeah, I, I should have done that actually. I should have built it a little closer. I just rethought how I did that. So I'm going to have them closer over here. Only because I know that the legendary Tesla coil has enough energy for the mills over here. That's why I'm moving it. Oh, I mean, uh, oh, never mind. Never mind. I will move this now, actually, because otherwise it'll slow them down. Move it across. Now I can build some other stuff. I wonder how long this will take, uh, considering all the cash I can make, right? I mean, almost 3,000 gold per hour, that's what? Uh, 30 mil? 30 million cash in an hour? That's like my wine bottle rush completely done, but I did this in like 3 minutes. That's freaking powerful. Oh, I need way more than 30 mi No, that's not true. I got the thrifty foundry, so it makes the foundries cost less. I don't exactly know how much cash I need, to be honest. Maybe... Maybe between 30 and 40 mil. Did Bukai think 40 minutes? Not 40 minutes. I mean, it's already been 20 minutes. Game's fine, hello. Don't know what you said, though. Did I turn on guided blades? I did not. Alright, that would help. Let me actually just see... No, let me build stuff. Let me build more stuff first. Some of the many things I'll need. Most of the expensive stuff here is just going to be foundries. Don't need these.
All right. Just a reminder for any of you who don't know, I am giving away 10 of these common ground hall, common ground town hall NFTs on my Discord. If you haven't joined my Discord, links in the description. It's going to be on this channel that says giveaway right here. And all you have to do is click on this presents or gift emoji. This giveaway ends in seven days, pretty much exactly seven days from now. That's when I'll be able to actually send them out because I bought them with a credit card. So yeah, I'm, uh, there's going to be 10 winners and uh, I have more, but I already have a list of people who were interested in buying one from me because they they're not able to use a credit card to buy one themselves. And if I happen to have any spares, I will get back with people who are also interested in one or possibly do like another five to give away. It, it depends. I'm not exactly sure. We shall see. We shall see. But make sure to answer that. I mean, there's still a week to go. Uh, 197 entries so far. Going to be 10 winners. And um, I, I should always mention this, but if somebody messages you saying you want something, they're asking you for something you're not supposed to share, like passwords or transfer codes or seed phrases, do not share that. Don't get scammed, guys. Don't fall for scammers or impersonators or anything, okay? If you do happen to win this giveaway, you're going to be tagged right here on the giveaway channel. And I'm going to ask you on here to send me a direct message. Okay. I hope everybody understands that. A wise name. Wow, how I win, bro. You just got to click on that button. Next to my head. Right here. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, and then you'll be entered. And the giveaway bot picks 10 winners. And that is for this one right here gonna be pretty good to have i mean if you already have one i mean anybody can enter the giveaway i'm not gonna check if you have one or not preferably for people who don't have one right but that that giveaway in particular is open to everyone there's no restrictions i should get started on building some other stuff I'm going to start, I mean, eventually I'm going to need to make silver and copper to build most of this stuff anyways. We'll just see what I can place down. Yeah, so that's some jewelry crafting tables. I need more, uh... Forges here somewhere. Let me actually move the bots. I can move them to a place where they're not going to bother as much. Yeah, best of luck. Move them right here. That's a little better. Place on more forges. <laughs> Benji, and for the pot of gold, I just send you the client address. <laughs> no, Benji, no. Boohoo. Need more lumber than that. Not sure if I feel like making more gasoline, to be honest. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard. 
I could like uh, build it here, I guess. Let me see. I don't know if I'll need to, but uh, I'll try. Try to do some uh, really easy gasoline setup. win 60 town halls and trade it for one yeah sure there's an idea oh yeah yeah, 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 I need the, the passive crude oil. I'm like, why is it not making petroleum yet? No, I, I need to give it passive crude oil. Okay, I'm gonna make petroleum. It's gonna be stored here. Then I'll make gasoline. Because uh, I want to get rid of this one. Because I want a, a wire mill in that spot. And I just want to get those at least placed down and ready to build as soon as I can. Well... Pretty much just put down the foundries. I keep looking at the NFT tab. It's not on here. It's on here. Hold on. Which, how much is each one? 787k. I'm going to need a lot of foundries. I'm uh, double checking the amount. Damn. 61 foundries? Did not count that out. Forty eight million? Didn't take another hour to get that money. Huh. All right, it can be done though. That's that's why I'm setting up the gasoline production. That's what it's for. These last two NFTs are very useful. Pot and tavern. Yes, yeah, that is true. Makes you wonder, huh? They are at least the past two weeks they've came out with some really powerful NFTs. The the couple of weeks before that, all those NFTs I, I wasn't really interested in to be honest. So, like, I skipped a lot of those. I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, the top 10 players, they they uh, like to uh, get some of each, you know? At least one of each. But uh, if, if I don't see, like, a uh, utility that I can use almost all the time with the, with the NFT, I, I'm not really going to bother. But for the Tavern, you can use that in every competition. Pot of gold, assuming you do gold rush, you could use that in every competition. If you have a pot of gold, I mean, why wouldn't you do gold rush, right? I understand there's some people that, out there that have the setup to do jam or ice. But damn, it's pretty hard to compete with the gold rush. With If you have all this anyways, I, I know some people don't have all this. This is high budget stuff to even do. Like, I, I really went all in with the gold rush here. Guess you could say the same about the bottle rush. Now, the bottle rush is great. It makes a bunch of money. It takes longer to set up. Compared to this. Oh, and I know some people still do shrimp rush, which is great. It makes a lot of money like the bottle rush, but it takes even longer to set up. And you need freight beers. There, I don't think there's any way you can do shrimp rush without freight beers. So if you don't have a waterway, you pretty much cannot do 
an effective shrimp rush. Pull a lumber now, so let me start building some of these. Here they are. Yeah, pretty much. Just start placing these down till I have no more money. And then I'll tell Martin I ran out of money and uh Yeah. Okay, I ran out of money. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and place down the silica sand. So the top layers that have the silica sand, they're gonna do this setup. They're gonna have a lot of foundries. They're all gonna have the one passive silica that they need in order to craft pretty much all the jump rings. Because it is more efficient than having a bunch of wire mills having to worry about getting energy for them and then having a bunch more jewelry crafting tables and crafting the rings that way so yeah this is the expensive to build all these but with the silica sand way more efficient okay even if you don't have the silica sand it probably is still more efficient only because we have a desert biome so we can do green timer silica on a sand mine and i did mention this on my build showcase Foundries will likely still be more efficient just because it's on the green timer where the sand mines. Yeah, then they build too fast. That's what it is. I mean, I could just get rid of one of these and I get my money back. The thrifty foundry really helps for this uh, meta also. I mean, I, I know like if, if you're a new player you and you missed out on the competition that gave this out, I mean, you don't have it, right? But this reduces the, the cost of building a thrifty foundry, like the cash cost as well as the material cost. I think the material cost always gets reduced by 40% regardless of the rarity. The, the higher the rarity, the more cash reduction that the build has. And so that's taking up like all my lumber pretty much. And I have to make more lumber now. But yeah, it's copper and silver. I'll worry about that. I'll worry about the copper and silver later. Once I pretty much have all of these builds, I think. I could start making copper really if I wanted to. Why wouldn't I want to? I guess so. Yeah, I could start making copper. I need to play some Cooper. Let me place him down right here for now. So those will have one passive copper work as a cooper. I still need copper panning sites, that's right. Just two of them for now. I'll move all that stuff as time goes on. Wait, so that'll make me copper. I'll wait a little while on the silver, but that's that shouldn't be hard to make.
Actually, I I'll just make this over now. It, as long as it doesn't get in the way with all the lumber and... Yeah, yeah, it, it won't. It won't get rid of... Won't get rid of all my lumber. I could place this bed. I could place it here. So the Artisan Guild gives one passive copper and silver or or to the tile surrounding it. Normally, I'm just going to use this to give passive uh, silver ore to the ones making silver. This isn't where I'm going to have it placed in the end. I just have it here for now because I can have two of them making silver. Just just for now, just to make a little bit of silver to build these up. Full of energy? Oh yeah, I have, I have way too much energy. Way too much, actually. That's a problem. Let me flush some of this. Yeah, that's a waste, but it's fine. Okay, I think I'm at a point where I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on cash and I'm going to wait on stuff to build. And this is probably what the other top players are doing, I would imagine. Hopefully you guys don't get discouraged with the amount of NFTs I have. I feel like when it comes to jewelry metas, I have everything and that's not true. There's some stuff I don't have. Um, I used to have the Master Coppersmith. I just sold it because I'm like, oh, when am I ever going to use this? <laughs> and uh, what other jewelry NFTs do I not have? That might actually be it. I could have had more for green forges. I sold them for way cheaper than they're worth now. Which, uh, that's unfortunate, but... I'm sure I made some people happy, hopefully. But yeah, if I, if I never sold any of my green forges, I would have had a lot more of these. What happened? Oh, okay. So, how are you guys enjoying the gold cash boost? Does it make this one a little bit more... Um... A little bit less stressful, maybe? <laughs> a little bit more achievable? I'm actually full on lumber. I'm waiting on cash at this point. You know what I forgot to do? I just realized this. I just realized it. We're like 45 minutes in, guys. I forgot to put down the giant Christmas tree and the oopsie. That would have sped things up a little bit. That's on me. This is the first time I forget to place those down in weeks. They're placed down now. I thought I was going to make so much money that I wouldn't even need them, I guess. Okay, that's going to help out a little bit more. Had I had those placed down, I would have been ahead... Uh, maybe like 4 mil or 5 mil cash. So I missed that on a good amount of cash there, but... Hmm. Oh well. 
still doing really good. I don't think it'll make a uh, difference. But I mean, I have that giant Christmas tree. I need to use it. You didn't enjoy the rush? Dang. The so tweet says it's awesome. I think it is too. I mean, everything's so expensive. You need all that cash. Martin says, you said you did not sleep much. I'm used to not much sleep, but that should be the reason you forget things. That, there we go. Thank you, Martin. That's probably a good reason why. Yeah. I feel like I slept three hours. Maybe I slept four. I mean, to some people, that's like, man, that's nothing. That's, uh, some people go... Some people don't sleep. <laughs> they they do though. I'm sure they do. Yeah, hey, I, at least that's the only mistake I made. As far as I can tell, I should be good. I mean, we'll see if this, if everything works out the way it was working on casual server. Cause there's a lot of stuff going on in this. It's awesome for those who have the NFT. Well, yeah, I mean, that's true. But even those who don't have the NFT, I mean, Gold Rush is a very friendly, no NFT setup. Like, I hardly hear people ever do wool anymore, and wool was the, the go-to rush. It seems like gold is easier to set up. Rotate the panning sites? Uh, I'll rotate these two, yeah. Those are how I want them to be. Does it matter? Um, Yeah, it does matter. I, I'm actually supposed to have more copper panning sites, I just haven't made them. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much only making the copper and silver to build these up right now. I guess I might need more copper. Um, I'll just go ahead and make them. Yeah. I'll go ahead and make them. Yes, it's good for all, but it's too big of a difference between those who have it and those who doesn't. It's, it's true. Yeah. down a few more of these am i full on petroleum i am all right so start making gasoline with all that i don't need this anymore all of that's turning to gasoline I'll get rid of that and I'll build the wire mill there. I have extra energy somewhere. I don't know where though. Does I have 170 energy? Oh, over here? Okay, right. I was wondering. I 
any cash rush so that helps me finish builds faster is great competition starts in the evening for me all right so you 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 would want to get your build done before you go to sleep or at least your cash rush uh but i do wonder what those people think who have bought expensive nfts to get an edge and then there are often these general cash boosts I like the idea of the cash boost because it makes you usually, no, not even usually. Sometimes it makes it so that you make something else, that you have to make something else in order to get a lot of cash, which would be more efficient than having to rely on some something like a milk rush that you paid money for and you'd like to do all the time, but maybe that's not always the way to go, you know? So I like the cash boost. It's part of the meta. I'm at 3,000 gold per hour. Benji is not only the cash boost, is meta. Increases all so much and get better rewards also. Right. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. I got lost reading your sentence. Maybe <laughs> maybe I'm not awake enough to understand exactly what that meant. Uh, compared to the last month, the rewards are better. Because the price of Gala went up. I mean, like the past three days, it went down, but that's the whole market. Just based off what I can see. Let me slow down the lumber so I can fill up the switch storage just in case. Making more copper now. Gonna take a bit. These need silver. I'm not too worried about the silver. I'm going to make so much silver once I uh, transition my uh, green forges next to the artisan guild because I'm going to be making pretty much full passive silver. Oh gosh, I'm about to run out of money. Okay. I'm good.
Okay. Let me check Eternal Paradox real quick. Or at least just to hunt monsters. Yeah, that's pretty much all I need. Yeah, I'm pretty much I pretty much just have to wait here. <laughs> wow. Well, I mean whenever I built this on practice server, I came back and I already had all the money I needed. I I could pretty much. I'm not gonna do it, but like I could just Put this on offline. Load up the common ground mode. Sell the bottles and the ice blocks I have there. I would say this is more important though. I mean, there's a there's a, a pretty big gala prize on the line if I manage to get top 25. Right? So why why would I go back to a mode that's not gonna give me a prize? Oh, Moise's first place, but um, I think that's just from selling ice box. Let me take a look at my effect cards. So yeah, hasty jeweler. Hasty Foundry. Proper Knowledge. Created Ceramics. Silver Knowledge. Oh yeah, the Copper Penning Site one. I think that's it. Yeah, three seconds. Okay, we're an hour in. This won't take that long. I can see uh, I'm getting cash fast. I'm, I'm pretty much waiting around here just for materials and cash, but I can see that it's not going to take that long. Probably another hour and I should be able to finish this build and start making golden heart necklaces. The sooner I can make them, the better because that's more competitive. Just not exactly sure if I'm going to figure out how to like perfectly balance it the way I want to. Otherwise, I'll just stick to 270 golden heart necklaces per hour. That's what I was making. I feel like it would be enough for top 25. Seems like some of the top players that I know, seems like they're making over 250 per hour. As for how many people that is exactly, I'm not sure, but like I, I think it would be enough for top 25.
I'm just checking the Discord. Hopefully not forgetting anything. Let me move this aquifer. I want to place some of this stuff down while I have nothing else to place down. So that's still making gasoline until I use up all the petroleum. Then I'm going to stop making gas. I'm going to have the Valentine's, Valentine's stand here. That's going to give passive strawberries to my pottery shops, which are going to be making the heart-shaped print. So I'm not going to have to worry about a strawberry field or a tractor. That saves me one spot. I already have passive energy with the Tesla coil. Doesn't cast dirty on them. Now the clay, I'm using the haunted maze zones for that. Specifically zone 2. By itself, it gives up to two passive clay lumps. But whenever I have the full set down, it doubles the effects. So it'll give four passive clay lumps. So I have to have these other ones placed down, which aren't going to do anything for me by themselves. It's like passive nectar, passive salty. I don't need that. But just to have the full set down. So yeah, now all my pottery shops will have passive clay lumps. I used to have one here. Um, I don't actually need it though, so that spot's kind of... I'm not doing anything with that spot. I don't know if I'll end up doing something with that spot later. Same thing goes for one of these spots over here. Uh, but yeah, I'll have more pottery shops over here. These will be the NFT versions. The ones that are not negatively impacted by dirty because i do have these two wire mills here that are going to be making silver wire they would be casting dirty on these pottery shops but yeah thankfully the nft versions don't care about the dirty Art shaped prints, which is what I'm going to be crafting in the pottery shops. They are stored in the jewelry storage, but I am going to be using the rare ceramic storage. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, this rare ceramic storage. This actually stores all of the crafts that a pottery shop makes. That way I can force the heart shape prints to go here which is going to be closer to my foundries that will be making the golden heart pendants i forget i keep forgetting exactly what it's called the gold plated heart pendant yeah i have that there i think that's pretty much all i can do right now like, I, I have to wait for other stuff to build to really be moving stuff around. <clears throat> yeah, if you guys have any questions... About the game or any of the NFTs, let me know. Even Champions Arena or Eternal Paradox, since I play those a lot. Now, if you ask me a question about like Spider Tanks or Legends Reborn, I'm, I'm not gonna know. I checked out Legends Reborn. I was thinking of streaming it, but the thing is, it came out on a day that, um, it came out on Monday, I believe. 
and I was uh, coming up with a design for the competition, which for me was more important to do. And when I thought about it, am I like, do I even want to play Legends Reborn today? No, I rather practice on the competition. I, I find that more enjoyable, at least for me personally. So that's why I didn't stream Legends Reborn that day. I could still do it one day. Um, I checked the game out. Like I said, I think I only did like one battle. I don't think I even finished the battle, to be honest with you guys. What do you think of the Doombringer? You were talking about the boss and the Eternal Paradox. I feel like there's still stuff we don't exactly know about it, at least in the dub guild. But, you know, it's a learning process. The the whole boss thing is it, fine. Um, It's a cool feature to have. It seems like there's no troop loss when participating in that boss, so that's good. We're happy about that. The rewards seem okay. Nothing like amazing. They just seem okay to me. But uh, I feel like either there's something we're missing there or there's some kind of bug. But well, we'll figure it out. It's still too new to us. How's the NFT priority list today? The best to have. It would be very similar. I do need to make like a new list for that. Best to have would still be Miranda skins, enchanted ornaments. Great Woodlands. Although this might be behind Great Woodlands. Don't know exactly on the list. So at one point I did say I was going to make a, a high budget. <laughs> top 10 high budget NFTs. <laughs> the Dragon. Maybe this too. I mean, the 15% cash boost helps out, but not really in terms of production. This is probably one of the top 10 high budget NFTs to have. Hatchet Hang Jr. is definitely still top 10. Like maybe even Greenforge. See, the way to go, whenever I made that first top 10 NFTs to have, I had a Silent Ride on there because Oak Barrel Rush was a very good rush it still is but it's hard to compare that to gold now because gold seems easier to set up and it makes more money and um no yeah that's pretty much it yeah there's more stuff when it comes to gold rush if you have happen to have a lot of nfts there's uh or happen to like getting nfts there's a lot of nfts available in jewelry that just amplify the production rates like crazy that's why we have uh no NFT builds out here doing 30 or 40 or 50 golden heart necklaces per hour. We got people with a little bit of NFTs doing uh, 70 or 80. Some NFTs doing 100 to 120. Got a pot of gold and some green forges. Maybe you're doing 150. You got NFTs like me. You're pushing 250 to 300. You got NFTs like Nacho or Paramin. You're pushing like 500. That's a huge gap, right? It's not like most other competitions where, where it's not that big of a gap. And I, I feel that's just because uh, the jewelry NFTs all complement each other very well. So at least that's what I think. Amir says every time you start that boss, you start from number one. That's strange because um, I think it said that you started from the last level that um you didn't clear or that you did clear wasn't aware that you started off at level one to be honest did not pay attention to that in order to fully clear that Doombringer boss and Eternal Paradox, there's 20 stages. You got 30 minutes to clear 20 stages, and each stage takes at least a minute because of the rally time. So in order to pretty much clear all the 20 stages, you would have to one-hit the boss 
every stage. So how, how is that even... Um, it probably is possible, but I don't think that should be the case. That sounds weird to me. Yeah, it continues on. It does continue on? It should continue on, right? It should. We'll see. I mean, we're going to do the, the guild boss again in dub in, in a little bit. Planet, you got Planet Bob worried over here, okay? <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm, I'm building these up. Still need more of everything. I'll place some more foundries. Let me check the new events. <laughs> Sorry for worrying you. Uh, okay, in soldiers. I'm pretty much out of we in Eternal Paradox. I know the solution is to kill a bunch of monsters, and I can absolutely do that. And um, I'm gonna try to do that today. See how many I kill. You know, I think you unintentionally said boob instead of bob with all the O's that you put. <laughs> How many town points is the legendary Tesla coil? It's over a thousand. I have this in the playbook. Uh, do I have this pulled up on here? No, I can set it up though. It's on the playbook. It's a thousand one hundred fifty five town points. That's 11 crane bots. 11 and a half. That's a lot. <laughs> Don't get de de demonetized. It's fine. more foundries That's true
ראוי. They need a new texture for it. They need a new texture for all the older NFTs. We're still waiting for the new texture on pretty much all the old buildings. I know like the newer buildings have the new texturing. Like the forges look cool. All the new NFTs look cool. Like they do a better job texturing them. But when you look at the older NFTs like this. They don't look as cool as like these, right? But like the warehouse, see? Not the same. This has new texturing. Pretty much all the stuff that comes out uh, moving forward all has like better textures. So they don't have to redo it later. Yeah, this still has like boring looking textures. It'd be better. See, these look cool. Actually, I mean, this doesn't look like it has like that much texture, right? Like it, it looks kind of simple, like the crane bot home. Um, no, the glass looks cool. I mean, it's no, it actually, it's fine. It looks cool. It's got leaves and flowers and stuff. Yeah, the old NFTs don't look as detailed. Yeah. Diamond Warehouse. I think the Diamond Warehouse. If you guys remember when this NFC came out, it, it had like a cool looking shine. The diamonds were shiny. This was before Godot. Then we transitioned to Godot and the shiny went away. The same thing applies to the diamond water pump. Ever since that shine went away, I think these NFTs don't look that good. With the shine, they were great. My, I, I've made this complaint before. And it's not important. It's not even important. It's like, why do I care about the visual? <laughs> it's the utility that matters. Uh, this one looks cool. I mean, the, the gold coins look like they were just... It looks like a sticker that was just put on the top. But, um... The animation it does is cool. The little rainbow thing it has, cool. Clover moves around. Sparkly. That's cool. Does the town hall do much? Is it worth the square? This is the way I think about it, Rachel. Um, I am taking up one square, but the square... Uh, I mean, this building doesn't cast any shade. Doesn't even require a road. I just happen to have it next to a road. In my situation, even with all the NFTs I have, it still reduces the craft time of my tree by an additional second. And I'm using more than 10 trees here. So that makes up for the square that I used. And then the additional time saved from the extra trees that I have. So I do believe that the town hall is beneficial to have for the craft time reduction for the tree farms. All the other utilities are don't really matter. I mean, it also gives one passive water to tiles surrounding it, but you would probably forget that it does that because most of the time you wouldn't be able to rely on it. There may be some situations where that one passive water in that one specific corner will help you out it is possible but you probably usually won't rely on that is it worth it yes i do think it is worth it to have compared to all these other nfts available and compared to the low cost The tweet says, I care too much about the visual. If I need one more build, I'm able to delete three or four plates in line. I hate in an organized town. <laughs> I also like a neat looking town. I think mine looks pretty neat considering everything. I've seen some people share some designs 
they look messy. They work, which is great. That's that's the important thing. They, to me, they look messy. <laughs> I think mine looks pretty clean. I mean, I'm not done yet, but you can pretty much... You can pretty much see what I'm gonna do here. I, I'm gonna have a bit more foundries over here. But uh, this is gonna be forges so I can make silver right here. There's gonna be more... Uh, crafting tables which i happen to have the nfts for so that's why i can just easily replace these and then i just had to pop down the rest of the penner family and jewelry stores that should be easy enough to do this is the only time consuming process all these foundries A lot of money. I don't need that. Why do I have that body goal next to the foundries? Okay, so all the pot of golds are placed in a very specific spot. So I'm going to explain to you what's going to happen with this one. This is giving passive gold ore to these. It's giving them two passive gold ore. Plus one from the goldie. That means that these can make gold. These three. It's also going to give one passive gold to these. I'm going to have another one here right here that's gonna give passive gold to these three three passive gold but it's also gonna give one more passive gold ore to these so that's two passive gold ore plus goldie so there we go that would ma make it uh three gold ore you know to make gold with these two wouldn't get it that's because these are making copper these would get it but i'm gonna have these make copper anyways but it doesn't matter for those and uh, I'm also going to have a few more forges over here making gold. So it works out. The, it's placed here specifically so I can have gold on these and these. And for the additional 30% craft time reduction to all of the jump rings that I make. It might seem out of place, but it, it it's it's in place. You got people who already, um, yep. Look at that. Old Town's in first place. Wow. Repping the dub tag also. He sold four batches already. Doesn't seem like he's using the dragon. Hmm. I would imagine... What could he be doing? It's a lot of gas. But... No, with the Express Depot, it's one gasoline per trade. I keep forgetting that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could do gas to sell everything. With the Epic Refinery NFT. Those forges will produce in three seconds, right? Not the gold. So let, let's take a look at this forge, right? Because it's next to three foundries. That's an additional 30% reduction. I mean, it's, it's multiplicative, so it's not exactly 30%. But uh, these make gold in seven seconds. And that's also because I have the four epic arcane rings. I'm going to end up removing one. These make it in nine seconds. Yeah, so uh, to tweet, so I think seven seconds is the lowest it goes right here i look at silver that that would get crafted in two seconds on this exact spot right there that's fast but uh i'm not gonna be making silver on 
these forges. I'll be making them in this square right here. There's like maybe two or three foundries I might not end up using and this is because I might tweak stuff to try to better balance the build. That's something I'll just have to figure out later, but I'm going to build them anyways. They at least have all the copper. No, almost. I think I can get rid of these now. Two more foundries, and I'll be good. Washer ran out of gasoline again. You were probably making too much gold. But uh, have you not got into gasoline production? Hey, I would like an indicator to tell me that I'm low on gasoline. Uh, like a, a exclamation point, right? Kind of like the one that comes out whenever you're... Um, disconnected from the server like that uh so tweet says this is 500 plus gold per hour with one forge is more than i have in my whole town is that so <laughs> doesn't seem like it Maybe 300. That's where your name might tell. Uh, washer, yes or like. How we are visually alerted when storages are full. Okay, yeah, like the exclamation points. I missed the little bar we had. I mean, if you guys played before Godot, we used to have a bar that showed the capacity of your storage and then the capacity of all of that type of storage. If you happen to have multiple warehouses. Uh, not a setting that they brought back. more of these. I think that's all the ones I'll need. So I'm gonna transition out of this so I can start making more silver.
miss the storage bar as well. Never parody. Oh, oh yeah, they, they said they were going to do parody, huh? Uh, AKC, yes, the overlay indicator. We've been asking that for ages already. It's super helpful to know when storage is close to getting full. That's right. Right, these will be making gold. Moving my green forges here to make silver. They have to be here because the green forges do not cast dirty and they will be closer to my jewelry crafting tables. And this also uh, is more beneficial for my silver production rate. I have to move artisan right here. I pretty much have to move all this stuff, all these storages. Big warehouse goes there. Diamond warehouse goes there. Um, then I can set up the Panner family. Rose and Lily. Sylvester. Cooper. And they only have to worry about copper. Picking up coppers. Taking it here for the forges making copper. Alright, so I can start up silver production. This is an insane amount of money made. Yes, it is. This one should be rotated like that. Okay, these are all making silver now. Let's set up the town hall over here. Oh yeah, I, I didn't need the gas production anymore. That's done. Actually, I need one more foundry for this spot right here. Run out of money in like three minutes. Hopefully that won't happen though. I mean, I should still be making gold, right? Well, actually, I need another foundry. I need one more right here. I'll come up with the cash for that eventually. Don't think I need to be alarmed. Oh, I need... <laughs> I still need more foundries, damn. I, I need these three. So I need four more foundries. I still need three mil. I'm still making gold. I need to make gold on these also. One more minute and I run out of cash. Should be good. I know I could just get rid of a foundry. Right, so the third pot of gold goes here. That means I can make gold with these. See, three gold ore. And these will also have three gold ore.
going to build regular forges here. Oh, these, I don't build these, my bad. Uh, my green forges go all the way up here. That way my lumberjacks don't have to move all the way over here because these have, uh, these don't need wood. This is full. Oh yeah, from silver and copper also. I, I guess I'll sell that as well. Uh, my storages are going to jam, at least for now, because of all the stuff I'm making. I'm making too much silver, too much copper. Uh, at least right now. I need to be making jump rings at this point. be rotating this stuff uh no nah, that'll work yeah fine Try to remember how this was rotated. If not, it took a screenshot of it. What do you think is the top 50 and top 100 rate? Top 50 maybe... Man, with, the, with all the gaps, it's hard to tell, honestly. Um, top 50, like 150 per hour, perhaps? Top 100, maybe like 120, 110 per hour? Yeah, it, it, there's a gap there somewhere. Oh yeah, um, some of these I, I didn't need, I remember that. If I can sell another batch of 100 gold, I think I'll be okay. Okay, these five are going to be making gold-plated heart pendants. And maybe you were wondering, like, hey, these don't have passive silica. That's, uh, these aren't going to be making jump rings. They're going to be making the gold-plated heart pendants and sterling silver. Now, the sterling silver is what I'm kind of having issues with because I'm either making too much of it or not enough of it. So it's something that uh, I'm going to have to figure out how to balance exactly how I want it to be balanced that's why i'll have like an extra foundry here somewhere 
while I try to figure out how to do so, how to do that. This one's pretty much extra also in case I do need to move one of the sterling silver ones here because this one doesn't have passive silica. All these other ones do. But yeah, there's like maybe two or three extra foundries there. Put to a far away foundry. Yes, and I, I tried practicing this, Benji. I, I didn't have enough time to properly test that out, but that is the idea of how I'm going to try to better balance sterling silver. Try to put it in one of the farther away ones. Like I, I tried here and here, uh, but I, I, I wasn't getting a good enough result in that half hour that I tried to test those things out. For the moment, I'm going to try to just go with what I know was making me 275-ish golden heart necklaces per hour. From there, if I know that works, and from there I can try to figure out how to balance it better. Well, I am going to make one adjustment, and that's to make less of these heart-shaped prints. To try to get my golden heart pendants to like 290 per hour. The issue is not exactly with sterling silver, it's with silver itself. I'm not making enough to hit 300 per hour, just a little under that. So I need to be careful on how I use the silver. Okay, there's a foundry here, and then I can get rid of that. I'm waiting to get 100 gold. I guess I haven't hit that yet. Oh gosh. Let's see if I hit it. Yeah, balancing sterling silver is similar to balancing those honey builds to me. It's because silver is used in a couple different things. I mean, you got to make silver wire. You need silver for sterling silver and uh, silver for the silver jump rings. Okay, cool. I'm selling 100 gold. I'm just going to get rid of my gas production. I don't want to sell any more batches of 100. I'm going to put down four of these. Yeah. So I have another spot right here. I could put the pottery shop, but that was making me too much or too many heart shaped prints. So I'm just going to keep it to these. Because if I can balance this better, then that means I waste less, um, actually it doesn't actually matter, huh? This doesn't affect my silver rate at all, I just realized that it affects my gold rate. But, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't actually matter if I make too many heart-shaped prints, now that I think about it. This should make me just enough, is what I'm trying to say. Just what I need. making gold I know I have a lot of silver so start making silver wires I'm gonna replace one of these earrings for the ring it kind of pains me to do that but it just has to be done because I need the storage for the jewelry rid of that um don't think i need any more wood we'll see all right since i have the epic arcane ring i can place down jewelry stores immediately i don't need to wait for getting the wood to build them and they don't cast shade so there's not going to be any shade casted on the panning site
this is going to give me a total of 200 storage since there's five of them. These crafting tables, the regular ones, are going to be making lobster glass. Pretty sure I can get rid of this. I, I shouldn't need any more lumber. Right? Nothing else needs to get built. Hopefully I'm not missing something. Okay, these spots are all going to be Trinity Gem Works. And yeah, I'm going to have to get rid of that lumber also, so I hope, I really hope I'm not missing something there somewhere. As far as I can tell, everything should be built. There's an empty spot up there, but, uh... I'm going to put something else there. I'll, just, I'll get rid of it. I'll worry about it later if I do need something else. I still need to make the jump rings, but I want to turn these on. So all of these are going to be making golden heart necklace. Only 50 second craft time. Because of mostly because of the pots of gold. Don't know for sure if I need all of these. To be honest, I probably don't need all of these. I didn't really mess with the exact amount that I needed for the actual crafting benches. That wasn't my worry. But I have. 10 of them that are NFT, so I'm just going to place them down. I didn't know what else to do with this space, so I just used those for lobster class. So there's that. Okay, this spot right here. I do have one copper smith, and that's actually all I need for all of the copper jump rings for the lobster class. So this one, this NFT can make copper jump rings or copper wires at only requiring one copper instead of two. It also moves extremely fast. Like, this thing just zooms. Let's see. Maybe we'll see it zoom. We actually see it. Okay, there we go. I mean, you probably can't tell because it, it goes so fast. But yeah, it goes fast. Okay, I lost, I lost track. I don't know. It just goes real fast. So that'll make me other copper rings. So everything else I have to turn on. Uh, sterling silver, like I said, I'm making it, right? I got four of them making sterling silver. So I can make sterling silver jump rings. I have these making it because it's closer. Next, I'll do silver jump rings. So mostly it's the foundries on the left side over here that will be making the silver jump rings. Rotate him or you want him slower? I rotated this one facing this because I do want it slower. Um, originally I had it placed here. And it was making way too many copper jump rings. Way more. It's, it's still making more than what I need like that. I could have actually placed it down over here, but it, I don't think it would have even made that much of a difference. So yes, I have it rotated away from the road to slow it down just a little bit more. That's on purpose. Break one leg if it's too fast. Uh, there's an idea. What's making that gal zoom so fast? She's just really fast. I mean, I, I do have enough teas that help, like the tavern. I have the hasty foundry. This one. Platinum hasty foundry. I did really good on this jewelry competition, so it gives a 9% boost. Oh, you can't read it, but trust me, it does. <laughs> and uh, it's just the NFT version moves so fast. Compared to the regular foundries.
these are also making silver jump ring. Hopefully I set them up all correctly. Hope so. If something's wrong, I'll figure it out later, but I, I hope I set them all up. Uh, so these other ones I rotated like this, just for me to know, but these are making gold jump rings. With the exception of this one, this one might not make anything. I don't know yet. Depends if I need to move stuff around. Pretty sure my warehouses are going to be full for a while until everything balances out how it's supposed to. We're almost two hours in, so I should be getting this finished by then. Then I'll test it for a while. These are gold. These are gold as well. Can barely see. Okay, they should all be turned on. Making what they should be making. I don't have it, this one's not turned on. I don't know if I need it. I don't have anything built on these two spots. Wasn't planning to. So that's why I just have green bots there. Don't have something there. Don't have something there. Just uh, actually um, the town hall. Oh, yeah, I put it. I put it there. Okay, that's there. I guess if I really wanted to, I could put down the tree. I mean, if I don't use this space for anything else, I don't know if that would slow anything down. You know what? Maybe I'll just put it over here. If I do need to add another pottery shop, I can easily do that with the spare fifth NFT one I have. Uh, this is here just because I, I already had enough wood production. I'm trying to see if I have everything set up. It looks like I'm making golden heart necklaces. I, I still need to add stuff to auto sell a lot of stuff. Uh, copper ore doesn't need to be auto sold. I'm only using one ore storage for that. Yeah, silver jump ring. Let me try to do the jump rings if I can. Silver, gold, copper. Sterling silver. I like putting everything at 30. Just so I can have five on reserve. Sterling silver. Okay, lobster class. Heart shaped prints. Gold plated hearts. Um. Then the necklace is at 25. I feel like I'm missing something there. Wire? I don't ever auto sell wire unless I figure out how to balance that better. But yeah, I added wire on there. I think everything is on here. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll check back later. You should always check back. Whenever you set up auto sell, Still, check your build one more time in like an hour or two, just or sooner, just to make sure everything is actually on auto sell, like nothing's jamming up your storages. Because that's gotten some people. Okay, I have eight golden art necklaces. A lot of spare gold, but I'm pretty sure I just had that. I don't really want to like lush him if I don't need to. Unless they're just taking up too much space. That's taking up too much space, honestly. I'm just going to flush that. Yeah. It was all gold. It's fine. I'll get enough. Four seconds.
Also, I don't actually need this. I, I could use my rare solar panel and it would do the same thing. Just in case somebody was wondering. But it's it's cool, you know, to have this here. It says 300, but that's because I had excess stuff already stored up. Um, and I still have like excess silver jump rings. I don't feel like flushing everything just to get the accurate rate right away. Where's my sterling silver at? That's at 5. 280 per hour. I have 5 of them though. I only have 4 of them making sterling silver right now. It's, it's uh, supposed to be 5. Because I could have this one making it. I want to try to see what 4 will do for me. If just having four of them on gets me at like 285 per hour, I'll take that and I'm not going to make any more adjustments if that's the case. And if I am making more than 1500 silver jump rings, I'm going to try to turn one of these off and try to get it just close to 1500 because I don't need to make all those extra silver jump rings. It's not necessary. In fact, I'll just turn this off now. I'm going to turn that off now. It just seems like I'm making too many silver jump rings. I know this isn't a proper test though, but uh, I'll just figure it out. As I go. So we're, I'm mostly just going to be watching the silver stuff. So I am selling a batch. Alright, I'm going to reset the production monitor. So, exactly two hours in, I am done with the build. You know, minus any tweaks that I might do, but I'm, I am done at this point. Put, put down my trophy. The dub trophy. The, the, this NFT is more valuable than this, in, uh, the legendary Tesla coil right here. This one. All right. That's right. Yeah, I mean, I gotta wait like 10 or 15 minutes for a decent test.
So we're two hours in. How's everyone's builds coming along? Still gathering up cash. Uh, hopefully you guys are done with gas production if you're doing that. I mean, almost everyone's making gas production, right? You're supposed to. You're supposed to make gas to sell stuff. And when I was doing the no NFT build, I forgot that the um, the gas cost would go down to one with the Express Depot or Express Pier. At least with the design that I showcased, uh, you would need to use an Express Pier. Because I had them, I was using the, the the piers, the trade piers next to the rivers, two of them. But you could just get by with one express pier. I don't know what you would do with the extra space. I mean, I had like seven extra spots that I just didn't end up using because that's just how I balance the build. Did anybody figure out how to do fifty per hour without NFTs? If there's any anybody that just made like almost a complete no NFT design. Tabuka says I have gas and I do more forger than mines. More forges than mines? No, you're gonna make the mines to make the steel, that's right. Amir almost finishing one of the nukes. One of them? You need multiple? I mean, I guess you could. For like your gas production, right? You could set it up to save you like a spot. I don't really think of needing multiple. But yeah, you could. Yeah, I mean, you make it sound like you got multiple nukes. That's why I'm wondering. Martin, gas already done. Saving for nuke, making loggers and bunks and foundries for gold ring to slow down gold. Same fuel can't keep up. That's right. Are you going to sell the gold rings? You could do that. It's almost the same price as the... Uh, I can't check because my dragon's busy. It's almost the same sell price. No need nukes this time. Well, I mean, for some of us, Benji, if you got the right NFTs, you don't need that much energy. But, I mean, if you, if you got mines and I guess not enough energy NFTs, then absolutely, you're going to need a new Gasolina Master. That's right. Orbs. Sure, you, you could use the orbs or the sphere of hope uh, for your pottery shops. That's true. Yeah. That is true. Two seventy. Because it's a silver wire. Sterling so silver seems to look good. I mean, it's I know it's only been five minutes. The silver wire. I need to figure out how to get more silver wire. I'm making too many silver jump rings. Way too many. That's what's not... That's what's screwing me over with the silver wire. Not enough silver for the silver wire. Th throwing off my rate. So I turned one of these off, right? Let me turn off two more uh, and then I'll add one back once I've calmed down the silver jump ring rate a little bit because uh, it's showing 1600. I don't know why it's that high. Should not be that high. Gold jump ring should be at 1800. They're close and if I need to make more, I can easily make more. I'm pretty sure I overproduce gold, so that shouldn't be an issue. Silver. Silver wire, silver jump ring. That's like the thing I'm fighting. Lava Gamer 13. Hello. Uh, now building loggers and bucks, but it takes a lot of time to wait for the pool for the build up of energy. Okay, yeah, yeah. Martin, yes, it does speed up gold forges, but sell the gold jump rings. Right. Okay, yeah, it, it does. It's true. Benji, I'll sell my green forges and brothers and buy the diamond charger. Do you usually do gold rush, Benji? 
I mean, if you don't, then I, I suppose that's fine. The diamond charge station is amazing. One of those NFTs I use in every single competition. Well, that's not actually true. You use it in like 95% of the competitions, maybe like 97%. There are some competitions that I've done that you d just don't use energy. I forget which ones. Maybe milk? <laughs> There's some odd competitions that just don't use energy. In the end, at least. You, you probably still need them to make the buildings, but not in the end. Can't remember what the last one was. I don't care rush much about work. All oh, right. Oh, today you're free. Cool. Top gamer, does it take a minute for you all to get iron? And do you know if there is a way to speed up with no NFTs? Without NFTs, not a way to speed it up. Best thing you can do is make a shallow mine in the spot that is not going to have passive water because if it does have passive water from the river or a pond or anything it will slow down the mine and since we don't have a mountain it has to be a shallow mine which is slower to start with it's gonna have to be like on the edge where there's no river touching it that's the best way to make the iron to make the steel no other faster ways, as far as I know. I mean, preferably you have passive energy on it. You probably don't, though. It depends on your layout. I'm not going to say you don't. Um, For the sake of, like, my no NFT build, I have the gasoline production over here. So there's not, like, a power plant going on over here for the mines making uh, iron. Just have to make it the energy manually with the power plant. Solid, move the mine away from the river, it floods the mine. Yeah. Assuming, you know, that that was an issue to begin with for him. Yeah, Grand Aquifer is pretty handy on it. I mean, he told me without NFTs, without NFTs, there's not much more you can do to speed up the mines. Make more mines, also, I would say. Don't just make one shallow mine making iron. You could probably make three or four. Ten minutes in, I like what I see. Doesn't make sense, because the, the wire is at... Okay, I guess it's going up a little bit, right? Probably had excess wire there somewhere. Sterling silver is almost 300. That's great. I I wasn't able to figure out that out when I was practicing. I, I didn't spend too much time on it, but... Like, if, if it's staying at 290, 295, or 300, that's, that's great. And that's with just these four turned on. Not using that one or this one. Right now, I'm not even using these still have a little too many silver jump rings i'm trying to see if i can use them all why is my silver higher in in here than it was in the casual server what's up with that I'm actually making more silver than I'm supposed to. I'm not going to complain. 
but I'm making a like a little bit more than I'm supposed to and I have them rotated exactly the same way that's great I mean if I can figure out how to get that into my wire mills even better and uh, these two wire mills should make 300 silver wire per hour they should that's what they were making before you know, whenever I, I I didn't have to compete with like sterling silver. Also, silver goes here. Maybe that's why. Maybe I want silver to mostly go here. I wonder if this warehouse is actually beneficial to me. I do wonder that. How is this warehouse benefiting me right here? These have to walk farther away, which reduces the craft time, not the craft time. It reduces the efficiency of silver wire. I could just have the silver and gold here. Easier for these to pick up, easier for all of these to pick up, easier for all of this to pick up. I, I am starting to wonder if I it's even a good idea to have this warehouse here because I don't actually think it is. And if that's the case, I could just move it here. I don't think this ever really fills up. I might actually do that. There's a chance it uh, ruins everything, but it uh, shouldn't be too hard to like build back a warehouse. Hmm. Hobby Gamer, well, I have it on passive water since I didn't know about the water flooding it. Uh, that's probably why it's making it so slowly. But yeah, that, that's why I mentioned that. So uh, at least now you know. Benji says do it. Seems like a good idea, right? That would ex probably explain why I'm not making 300 silver wire. Because sometimes they're walking over here. That's uh, not efficient. They should be walking here. Here's the other thing though, Benji. What if it reduces my silver production rates? What if I don't end up making enough silver then? For everything. Because the reason I'm probably making 4,000 silver is because these forges are able to deposit to this one quicker. Wait a minute. Did I even... Was this warehouse rotated like this? Hold on. Let me, let me take a look at the screenshot I took. Is that what it is? The rotation of that warehouse? It's not. That's what... That's the difference. I figured out why I was making more silver. When I practiced, I had this warehouse rotated like this. It's actually more efficient to have it rotated like this because these green forges can deposit the silver slightly quicker. That's why my production is a bit higher. It will definitely slow down my silver production rate if I move it. Don't you think so, Benji? It's, uh... Just for reference, it's 13 silver per golden heart necklace. If I wanted to make 300 of them, I would need 3,900 silver. Which I wasn't making that when I had the warehouse rotated like that. I was making about 3,800 silver. And that's why I was having issue trying to balance the silver between uh, uh, mostly the wire and the sterling silver. But I think the issue with the wire is really that it's 
trying to pick up silver from here sometimes. That's what's slowing that down. I could move one here, but it would slow this one down. Not like it... It probably doesn't matter. These craft so fast anyways. It probably doesn't matter if it slows this one down. But I don't know if it'll actually increase the production rate. Yeah, I mean, it's doing better than it was before. <laughs> Just because of this. I, I accidentally made it a little better. Because I rotated this differently. Crazy. Full plated heart pendants are at 270. I mean, if that becomes an issue, I could just turn this on making gold plated heart pendants. I have enough copper and gold to do so. It's not an issue. You know what, Benji? I don't think I had to do anything. <laughs> yeah, before I make that tweak, I think I should let this run. And if it's making close to 290 per hour, I'll take it. I'm not going to bother moving it more than that. Um, I have some ideas. Although I don't think moving the warehouse would work. Because of it would reduce my silver production rate. I'm almost certain of it. What could work is I could move this here if I'm not making the 300 silver wire that I would preferably want to make. Um, then I move this here. Heart shaped prints isn't an issue. I can always add another pottery shop. Uh, the the only change would be this would have one dirty, but I'm very um almost positive that that shouldn't matter. Because lobster clasp just lags behind uh, silver wire. So it's just waiting on that. See, you can see all these are just waiting on silver wire. You know what? I, I really should just make that change. Uh, I'm pretty sure it would help. I'm overproducing silver at this point. That was not happening before. Great. What do I need for a wire mill again? Copper? Lumber. Um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to move the wire mill one spot over. I'm pretty sure it'll help. Uh, Benji says, or build one more wire instead of Christmas. If I build a third wire mill, I'll end up with like 350 or 400 silver wire per hour. And I don't need that much silver wire. I don't only need a little bit more see it's already making 290 i probably don't even have to do anything but um just to get a little bit more silver wire lava gamer is the reward deposited to your wallet or the gala accounts it kind of both it's deposited to your gala chain wallet which is pretty much part of your gala account right um, we just recently received the reward for last week's competition. I think we got it this morning. Yeah, I don't think I need a third wire mill. That would be too much. Just moving it would make a bit of a difference. I'm willing to do that. I just need to figure out how I'm going to get by lumber. Legendary Tesla coil is going to help a bit here because the energy reaches this. So that'll make me lumber and I will deposit the lumber. For the moment, I will deposit it here. 
need five lumber so I can build the wire mill right here. Need five energy also, so I'm gonna make that. Hope I don't regret this. Uh, it'll open up this spot. I, I probably not gonna do anything. Well, I, I don't have to delete the wire mill, right? I could just leave it there and turn it off. Just in case. I, I If I want to revert this change for some reason. So yeah, I don't have to delete that wire mill. You know, uh, also, if for some reason the one dirty causes an issue, I could just use a orb of hope. So even that wouldn't be an issue. Just move stuff around to make that work. Come on, three lumber. Two energy. What's my heart shape print at? 290. What is my gold heart necklace waiting on? Is it actually just that I don't have enough? I think I just need a sixth one crafting it. I'm gonna have this craft golden heart necklaces. Sorry, gold heart pendant. Yeah, five lumber. Don't need no more. Remove that, build a wire mill. Put these back. Take that off. Put the ceramic storage back. Turn this one off. Okay, uh, I'll turn it back on for a second. <laughs> Make one more. Oh, this is looking really good if it's actually making 290 already. That was my goal. Okay, I'll turn this one off. I'll leave it off. I'm using these two for silver wire. This one's casting one dirty on this spot. Slows it down by just a few seconds. Like I said, it shouldn't matter. If it does, I can move stuff around so I can delete the dirty off this. And that should solve. My, all my issues. I have too much energy now. It's not making energy. I don't need it. I'm going to get rid of it. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. This thing's making me... 330 copper jump rings but i'm like slightly overproducing copper so it's fine I'm gonna try making more heart shaped print. This shouldn't matter. If it does, I'll just revert this change. I'll take one of these off. Because I know I'm making enough copper and gold 
to handle it. If I am not making enough full jump rings for some reason, I will turn this one on for gold jump rings. Silver jump rings is already good. I, I'll just go ahead and actually turn it on for gold jump rings. It's because it seems like I'm not making 1800, but I'm really close to it. Sweet, I think I figured it out. I mean, I'm gonna reset the production monitor, run it for like 15 more minutes, and then that's gonna be it. Pretty sure I got it. That wasn't so bad. You know, I don't think I'm gonna need to tweak anything else for tonight. I, I think I completely figured it out. And this is while, like, I'm still, you know, I'm not really sleepy. I just didn't sleep enough. I should take another nap. Later. <laughs> but don't worry. I will. I will. Happy that I came up with this. I didn't get to completely finish the no NFT build, like I said in that video. Um, but for the time that I did spend on it, I, I felt like it did pretty good. I mean, it was a very good idea. I'm sure even 40 per hour is enough to get top 1200 in the competition. It would be cool to see um, if people manage to like fill in the spots and improve it further. While I wait, I do want to like figure out the um oh what's coming up uh because a farmer shot shared their roadmap B Rat Ten Lal, what's that building that has eyes on top of it? Anyway, the building that has eyes on top of it. Oh boy, the building that has eyes on top of it. Can you be a little bit more specific? I'll get back to you on that one. I don't even want to try to guess what it could be. The Tesla? It has eyes on it? Is that, is that an eye? Yeah, the, sure. It, if this is the one you're talking about, it's the legendary Tesla coil. Yeah. I, I guess. I, and this might be an NFT that not many people have actually seen in game i would think the tweets the important thing is that we are saving the soil one tile at a time very green tile sure the <laughs> lord of the rings maybe okay like the 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 what was it i have sauron or something i don't want to get that wrong Love a gamer, what NFT would you recommend to buy that would be useful for almost any competition? When people ask me this, I, I would tell them, go pick up the hatchet hang from the Gala game store. But unfortunately, that sold out. Um, And if you try to get it on the secondary market like OpenSea or NFT Harbor, people are selling it for way more than what it was sold for in the galley game store and that applies to quite a couple nfts 
Um, but hey, another one that would be useful for pretty much any competition would be the common ground town hall because of the crowd time reduction to the tree farms, mostly for that. Mostly. Gives one passive water to the tiles next to it, which sometimes might come in handy, but it's mostly because of the crowd time reduction to tree farms. 15%. I mean, it does other things. It reduces the crowd time of wee fields. That might be useful, maybe. Makes your builders move faster. So that's cool. Benji, just because it's around 12k USD, is it? Gosh. Maybe. That's a lot. Uh, Lava Gamer, uh, other than that, um, Miranda skins, but that's not in the Galley Game Store either. That one you definitely have to buy off secondary markets. Enchanted Ornaments, same thing, off secondary markets. You could actually get it from the Galley Game Store from the Christmas packs, but it's kind of hard to get the full set because there's 12 different NFTs in that set. That, I'm talking about these. Uh, if you're wondering what they do, there's two different utilities to these. They reduce the wages of everything. And then they reduce the build cost in terms of the cash it costs to build stuff. So that's why I go to my store, everything costs less. I think it's 25%. Which speeds things up because then I need less money to build everything. And the wages, the wage reduction can come in handy. I mean, look at my wages for this: one hundred and sixty-six thousand per minute. A lot. It's like ten mil an hour, but thankfully I make more money with all the golden heart necklaces that I'm selling. Oh, that looks good. Three hundred. Oh, look at that! My wire uh, is actually going up. Dump rings went down a little, but I could just turn on another one of these. Seeing as I still have plenty of silver, I think I should be good to turn one of these on. I still have one of them off. Damn, I might even be able to push a little over 300. Will it make a difference to my final position? I don't think so. Oh, look at that. I'm top 10 right now. At least right now. I don't, I don't believe I'm in top 10. Uh, top 25, I'm pretty confident about with this setup now. Wow. That's a good improvement. Those are very useful. Yes. Lobster class seems okay still. If this one's off, I don't even need this road right here either. Because I'm not using this building. Okay, well the sterling silver went down a little bit probably because I'm making too much silver wire now. Um I'll worry about that if I have to later. But yeah, I, I should probably pay attention to that. Just in case. And yeah, because it kind of feels like I'm making too much silver wire now. I could move, I could turn this one off and turn this one on. See if that balances out better. And I, I mean, I feel like that really made a difference to silver wire. If it's actually making that much.
I'm going to change these. It's probably too soon to tell, but I have a feeling that this is going to be making more silver wire than I intended it to, so... I'll have this one making the silver wire and this one, not the middle one. At least I can, like, mess around with this now that I have three of them built. Need to figure out how to fix the sterling silver rate again. Eventually. Because if I turn this one on to make sterling silver, I'm going to end up with too much sterling silver again. I think. At least I think so. Let me do some maths. 4,000 silver, 1,500 jump rings, that's 3,000. This takes up... Uh, so if I make 310, let's say, that's 620 silver. It leaves me 380 silver. No, I shouldn't have an issue with silver. Not at all, actually. I'll turn this one on. Making sterling silver. I shouldn't have an issue at all with that anymore. Because I'm overproducing silver now. We'll test this out. If I need to, I'll just move these around later. Uh, 10 more minutes, tops 10 more minutes, then that'll be it. to finish this challenge in the internal paradox. Halfway with Foundry's cash through slow, says Benji. Yeah. That's why you don't like the cash rush, huh? <laughs> fast for me, but not fast for you, I guess.
Fighter Dog, what's up? And your Golden Heart Necklaces video build. Did you build a lumber yard? At the very end, you don't need a lumber yard. You don't need to store any wood or lumber anywhere. Um, it was built just to gather the lumber to make the buildings. And I also had a lumber mill close to where the power plants were at. But you don't need that at the end. Yeah, no problem. Three hundred per hour, maybe even more than that. Exceeded my initial expectation, so that's for sure. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put my trophy though. I I don't have space for it unless I remove that. I probably don't even need this crafting table over here. I mean, I probably don't even need all of these. Maybe. Uh, I probably don't need one of these either. Uh, I really don't even have that much here. Wow, my build is very balanced right now. It really is. But I don't want to screw up my storage, so I'm going to keep these here. Remove road between foundry and wire. This one? This one? Right here? That would turn this one off, remember. I am using this one. I decided to change it up. Uh, just because I didn't want to make too much silver wire. It probably doesn't matter. I probably could have silver wire on this one again. Yes. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I might be able to do that. If I if I switch this one back to this one. I'll keep an eye on the silver just in case. Although, can't say the trophy is that important. <laughs> Well, can I get an idea of what would be the bottleneck? Waiting on gold plated heart pendant. Uh, everything. Gold plated heart pendant, gold jump ring. Everything. That has everything. It's about to craft it. Gold plated heart pendant, gold jump ring. I have a lot of gold-plated heart pendants, though, so that's not an issue. 
Oh, you're right, Salad. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I got these two crane bots because I'm not doing anything with these. I could just place the trophy there. You're right. That leaves me... I could do something else with this spot, too. I can't believe I forgot that. Thank you. See, I'm not thinking. I didn't sleep enough. That's my excuse. That's not what I was aiming for. Uh, yeah, that's not exactly right. Sure. Sure, sure, why not? <laughs> the trophy in the bench. Yeah, that works. It's whatever. Yeah, so pendants, 320. Wire, 308. Uh, Sterling Silver, 320. I think I can work with that, right? Silver, Silver producing? Kind of. Barely. Uh, no, but I do need those Silver Jump Rings, right? Um, I might be able to make 310 per hour at most. It's, um... Let me see, 310 times 13, 4,030 silver. Yeah, making exactly the amount of silver for 310 uh, golden heart necklaces. I, I can't go over 310, not with the silver production rate. So I know that's the limit. There's no reason for me to push, to push higher than that. So I'm pretty much hit my limit here. That's great. Yeah, way better than the 275-ish that I was doing on my practice run. Can't even see the bench. It's just covered with smoke. Or the trophy. Okay, I'll just do it this way. Okay, we're good. I'm done here. I'm gonna check my leaderboard one more time. Top 10. But I should hopefully cross my fingers. Should get top 25 on this. That'll be a nice prize. It'll make up for two of these pots, not the third one. I, I don't know if I'll keep the third one. We'll see. Uh, AKC, why do you have your pot in the middle of the foundries? Um, I, I did mention this earlier, but it, it is placed there specifically so I can have the passive gold that I need for these three. And for these three. But it, it is placed exactly where I want it to, to be. Uh, I mean, I could have also placed it like in any of these spots right here. It, it would have worked the same. Exact same thing. But uh, for what I was aiming for, the pot of gold right there, it works works i mean it's, it's getting the job done <laughs> so there's that I, I did end up using three of them i told some people i wasn't sure if i was going to use two or three um i i just tried to use three there we go i don't know if i'll keep the third one though but yeah that's gonna be it 
I'm gonna eat something. Then I'm gonna do the guild boss in the Eternal Paradox. Because we're gonna plan that out. Then I'll probably take a nap. And then I'll get back to doing other stuff. So appreciate everybody for watching and hanging out. And hopefully your build's going well. Catch you on my Discord. And if you haven't joined my Discord, link's in the description of the video. I have a link if you want to help support me in the description as well. As always, I appreciate your support. And thank you for watching. See you later.